everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video and today guys I want to make a winter special doll I know it's probably already kind of too late it's rather time for a spring special but anyway I still have one concept one idea that I really want to make already for a long time and I want to complete it before the winter is over officially so I still have a couple of weeks to work on this doll and today guys I want to make the Norse goddess Skadi she's a very interesting character she's a goddess of winter goddess of hunt goddess of skin so she has lots of interesting accessories for example yeah she has skis she has bow and arrows she has a very interesting Norse outfit so really I've been thinking about making this doll already for a very long time literally for years she's been sitting on my list and today I think it's finally time to work on her a couple of months ago I already made Grilla from Icelandic mythology and today it's time for Skadi so I think it's gonna be very interesting project let's start working of course guys in the beginning like always I just have to remind you to subscribe to my channel to hit the bell button to get notified about my new dollar paint videos and please guys don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes if you enjoy things that I'm making here on my channel so and this being said let's start working I will use this Abby doll as a model for this project because I think she's just perfect to represent a strong and beautiful Norse goddess and I also think this is one of the most beautiful in the new generation of Monster High dolls. I really love this doll. So let's undress her, cut her hair off, disconnect the head from the body after making it soft with a hair dryer and then I will remove her face with pure acetone. You know, you've seen this routine already multiple times on my channel. All the original features are gone and I can start working on her new look and first of all I want to give her this snow angel nylon hair because I want her to have very long eyes blonde hair so I think this is the perfect hair choice for her and first of all I will cover her head with white acrylics with a couple of layers of it and then I will place strands of this new hair to her head using my rerouting tool
This is how her new hair looks a couple of hours later. Check it out, guys. A bunch of super long white hair, exactly what I needed. Very gorgeous. So now let's add glue inside of her head to keep it all in place. And then I will let it dry for a couple of days. I spray her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and after this I can start drawing. Actually I start with blushing her face with soft pastels because I want her to have very pale skin. So I'm changing her blue skin tone into pale nude. And I also want her to have very cold Nordic look in general. I mean like a light skin, icy blue eyes and very natural looking lips. This is the plan for today. Good, this is where I will stop working on her face, she looks really cute to me now and I will quickly blush her body with soft pastels and after this we will start working on her outfit and accessories. I have planned a lot of them today, so I still have a lot of work to do. I 
base my outfit on real Norse outfits, not the Hollywood fantasy ones. But anyway, honestly, I really love this Hollywood Viking aesthetics. But this is not how Vikings really looked in real life. And this is not what they wore. Norse women rather wore something like this. This is how Skadi has been painted in books, for example. So I will think I will make something similar, but I will use more kind of shiny and special materials. Because she is a goddess and she can be a little bit kind of more special and maybe a little bit more celestial, you know, something like this. So I will use this gorgeous holographic fabric to make this nylon dress. completed the dress with a pair of black pants and now I want to make a coat for her and look I found these beautiful designs on a reconstructor's web shop and I think I want to make something similar to this coat but also out of more shiny fabric so I will make a coat decorated with white fur out of this blue metallic fabric This is what I've made in the end. It looks good, I think. I don't know. I'm very happy with this coat and with the dress. You cannot really see the dress made out of this beautiful fabric underneath that much. But anyway, it all looks very good. And now I want to add a bunch of accessories to this look. And first of all, I want to make a set of belts with the back and with the quiver. So I will start with building a doll out of Warbler thermoplastic.
Yes, this is how it looks. Good, now I think I can paint it and decorate it with all kinds of things. Okay guys, this is the finished belt and I think it looks really beautiful and it really fits the style and it also looks amazing together with her outfit, I don't know, I'm very happy about it so far. So now I want to make a bow for her and I will also use thermoplastic for it because I just love this horrible thermoplastic for everything and I begin with creating the basic shape, painting and decorating it. And then I'm attaching an elastic thread to the ends of it. I don't know, doesn't it look fun? <laughs> I think it does. I think this bow is really cool. Now let's make a couple of arrows out of toothpicks and silver paper and place them into the quiver.
perfect. Now I think it starts to look really, really, really perfect. But now she also needs a pair of boots, and I think I will customize this pair of Cleo's boots. Uh, they have the right shape, but I want to change them a little bit, and I will use my Dremel tool to make those adjustments to the, to the boots. Okay, this is what I've ended up making so far, now let's paint and let's decorate them. I want to add some lace into the side of the boots and white fur to the top of them. This is what I've made. I don't know, I think the boots look really amazing now. I'm a fan of the boots. They also fit the outfit and like the vibe of the doll. They fit perfectly. I really, 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 really love the boots. Really super happy about it. But now when we have the boots, I can finally make a pair of skis also out of Warbler thermoplastic. Yeah, something like this will work, I think, the shape is good, so now let's paint them. Mm -hmm. 
And to decorate these keys I will use runes, the letters of the Norse alphabet. I think it will look really pretty. Real Viking keys uh, looked like this approximately. They were very functional but not that fancy. But I want the keys of my goddess to look more special than that. So these are the finished skis guys and I think they're amazing, very special, very beautiful, I really love them. So now her outfit is finished but I'm not done with this project yet because I want to make a pair of big and beautiful antlers to make it look even more special and outworldly and more Norse, I don't know. Uh, so I've never made antlers before so let's experiment today. I think I will start with making a base out of this wire and yeah this process takes a while but it's actually quite fun. So this is my wire base, I think I'm very happy with what I see, with what I ended up making and now I can cover the metal with tissue paper and tacky glue. Okay, this is what I've made, this is how it all looks the next day, now I can start painting them, but you know, I want to see how they look on the doll's head first, maybe we don't need to paint them, maybe we need to throw them away or change them completely, so you can see I've kept the original cute tiny horns of this doll, so I will make holes in them and then we'll see how the antlers look on her head. And the antlers look fantastic. I'm so happy I don't need to change anything. Everything looks amazing. So now I can finally paint them.
Voila guys, these are the antlers and I absolutely love them. My very first antlers I made on this channel. Really, they're super beautiful, they were so fun to make. It was also really a cool project to work on, really, I enjoyed it a lot. I just begin to feel like I will never finish this doll. I will just keep adding more and more details to her look. But no, we're actually almost done here, it's time to finish this doll, I just need to style her hair and you know I don't want to overcomplicate it, I want her to have her super long flowing white hair but I will add two braids on the sides next to her face to give it also some special Nordic vibe. After this I will attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. Ok guys, this is finally my goddess Scotty. And you cannot even imagine how long it took me to finish this doll, it's unbelievable really. It felt like I just kept working and working and working on it, adding more and more details and some accessories to her look, really, it took me weeks to finish. But I think she looks absolutely stunning in the end. She's definitely one of my most special dolls, a very special character, I really love how strong and fierce she is while staying very cute and gentle. At the the same time. I still think that this Abby doll is amazing. This is not the last time you see me repainting her on this channel. I just think that I will have to do more justice to that holographic fabric in the future. This fabric is so gorgeous but you almost cannot see it under the coat. So I think I will have to make another doll who will wear a giant holographic dress or gown or something like this. If you have any good ideas for characters in holo outfits, please let them down in the comment section under this video. And also guys, please let me know what dolls you want me to make in 2024. It's been a while since I asked you and I feel like I kinda could use some help brainstorming. So please let your ideas in the comments as well. And now please guys let me know what you think about this doll and this project. I hope you will like it because it took me a really long time to make so please let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to buy this doll please check out my eBay store, the link is in the description box under this video, she is available there for 3 days. So guys, and that was it, that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you enjoyed it today, and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and I will see you very soon in two weeks in my new doll makeover video. And now, have a nice weekend, love you guys, bye!